Hey, how are you all doing? This is Chad from Backyard Sense. And just want to give you an update on a few changes and a few things that are going on with Backyard Scent. Um, basically, the lineup. So there's 18 different, uh, well, 18 different options, but sometimes maybe the same. So, for instance, like uh, you start in the middle here with your preseason, the buck looking branch in the doe. Then you go right down to where there's regular season. And then there's preseason scrape, the buck scrape, and there's regular buck scrape, obviously. Then the rut. The rut is that special time of the year where testosterones are high, higher than usual in the preseason and so forth. So I extract during that certain time uh, to give a little bit more, I guess, uh, excitement. And um, then we move on to... Just a straight into digital gland, which if you research that is a phenomenal gland as far as what it does. It, it, it's an informational gland. Um, there's a lot going on. It tells the status of a deer, where it's at, maturity, which way it's going. It, it's crazy. Then I have the buck scrape 200. These are all bucks that are um, 200 pounds and above. All the big boys so if you are chasing subdominal bucks um, you probably want to maybe not use this but if you're after a target buck um, then you definitely put this in in front of your stand in your scrape either a mock or a natural scrape and then you have the preseason licking branch gel and the regular gel and we go back over to the doe, the same thing with the doe, uh, the preseason licking branch, and then the doe, regular licking branch. Then you get the preseason scrape, regular scrape, then the rut, the same as the buck. Then you have the doe, which is the same as the buck, as far as the same gland. Then you have the matriarch, which is um, uh, does that are about 130 pounds, bigger does, older does, uh, that that is drawn from. And um, then you also have the preseason lick and branch gel, and then you get the regular season. A few things you'll see different with some of these bottles as things change. I actually, on this order right here, I have clear bottles. Um, it's easier to view on the side so you know where you're at for your stock. Uh, there could be white caps, black caps. Um, depends what we can get in nowadays but uh trying to stick with the clear bottles there's no reason for me to have the amber color bottles um as you even see the difference here of this one in the middle here and then this one same place just made differently it's crazy so i decided to go to clear it just allows you to see what's going on there is no um shelf life on my product you can use it from year to year um, I mistreat this stuff. I um, just abuse it to make sure that uh, you customers get the best possible product um, and the freshest. So it's basically like a deer in a bottle. I can't explain it any other way besides that. And um, I thank you all for the support. But here we are. We got a couple of things that are coming new for this year. And. Um, excited to share them um any questions you have please ask thank you all and uh stay safe and god bless